Hello, my Cancerians. This is Empress Pamela. Today, I decided to do a healing message for each of the zodiac signs. Um, I was inspired by the um, short, uh, what was it? A message that I did on shorts called Theme of the Week. And um, there was some duplications. So there's an energy of what I want to say, possibly, maybe that was one that came up a couple of times. So like indecision, um, what the heck was it between two worlds? I want to say that came out and something about um, human behavior and big time sensuality came out a couple of times. So there was some um, distinct energies in the atmosphere for this week. And I thought, oh, wow, it's a good time to do an extended reading for each of the signs. So just a heads up, I am still struggling with my cataracts. I am scheduled for surgery later this month. So that'll be amazing. I don't even know. My son was just talking to me about how great it's going to be for me when I can actually see and then all the things that I can get back to doing. So it's overwhelming and exciting at the same time to even think like that, um, let alone just getting back to driving, being able to drive. I can't drive anymore. Yeah, really, it's really, don't ever wait on your health. If you have cataracts or vision problems, do not wait. It took me a good three weeks just to get an appointment with an ophthalmologist and then to get surgery. It's another two weeks after that. So yeah, three weeks actually. Um, don't play, <laughs> especially when it comes to your vision. It's been miserable. I can't even watch... Um, TV shows or anything. I can't read. I can't read my cards, blah, blah, blah. It's going on and on. Anyway, we're here to talk about you and what's going on with you, Cancer. Um, yeah, so I'm using Wisdom of the Oracle. That's a popular um, deck. And then I've got the Kawaii Tarot poker, poker cards, which I read from that. Um, and then a couple of cards decks that I kind of created on my own, focusing on healing. That's what my forte is. So I like to concentrate on you, the viewer, and what you can actually control within your life and what you can execute within your life because uh, when it comes down to it we come in this world alone we go out alone and we're the only one that we can control so to speak so I'm going to give you some advice um, when it comes to things you can do to help your situation help you heal it's funny, um, in the first reading I did for Taurus, at the end I um, did some numbers that might be of significance or whatever, you could play the lottery and such. And then I told Gemini, my last reading, that I was gonna do it and then I forgot to do the numbers. So why don't we do the numbers first, Cancer? Because I have a series called Manifesting a Winning Lottery Ticket. And um, yeah, numbers, I think, Mega Millions, somebody won the Powerball and the Mega Millions, but Mega Millions is still high. It's over 200 million, maybe, I want to say. I don't know. So I'm going to roll the dice, and then I'm going to pick it up and read the numbers that I see, so you can take note of that. Okay, let's see what I got. Um, one, two, four. 10, 7, 90, uh, 3, 2, 8, 5, 
four, one, two. Ooh, one, two, four, four, two, one, two, four, one. Those are came out twice. Okay. Five, eighteen, fifteen, twelve. I was gonna say twenty-one. Let's see. Six, eleven, five. 12, ooh, something with 12, 1, 2, 4, 5, um, 7, 9, I was going to say 6, ooh, I, 1, 3, okay, let's see, that's it. So those are those numbers, you may want to have written them down, okay, let's see what's going on with cancer, cancer. Exchanging gifts, card number 27. So, 2 plus 7 is 9, February 7th, age 27, age 9. Let you take a look at it. Exchanging gifts. I don't know, look at all the pink. Is there a love? Is it a gift of love? Um, I want to say birthday parties coming up, but all the pink there. I don't know. I think there's an undertone of love, kindness, compassion. Okay. What else? Ooh, look at the mood. So different. Pink and blue. Maybe someone's having twins, a boy and a girl. Okay. To the sea. I love it. Card number seven, another seven. Wow. 27 7 July 27th to the sea you have a vacation planned at the beach July 27th exchanging gifts someone's birthday well let's see July 27th I think that's Leo when I'm doing cancer but maybe that's the only time everyone can get together at the beach and celebrate birthdays Mm. Oh, look at this. They're so different in mood. Mm. Although this reminds me of Leo. Time for a nap. Card number 24. Time for a nap. So 24 could be of significance. 2 plus 4 is 6. Oh, remember when we were just doing all those numbers? 1, 4, 2, 2, 4, 1, 24. Holy shit. There's significance here. Exchanging gifts to the sea, time to take a nap. All right, my initial feeling is um, there's plans in the works to celebrate at the beach near a lake, a body of water, where there's resting and relaxation and there's a celebration coming up. Okay, I want to say sometime this summer. Um... <laughs> Okay, eat the music, violin. Mmm. Exchanging gifts to the sea. Time for a nap. Eat the music, violin. Huh, okay. Now, those are both Kate, Kate Bush songs. I want to say someone's a musician. There's music involved. But I, you can look up the words and see if there's anything significant in those songs. Walk away, soar to the sea. Walk away, soar. Um, I think those are Christina Aguilara. The song "Soar" is such an amazing song. You can read the words. I would. Uh, I'm focusing on that exchanging gifts. I feel like you're realizing your gifts, what you're bringing to the world. You want to share your gifts. It says walk away. Um, but I feel like look up the lyrics to the song called soar from Christina Aguilera. That's where she's really, um, embracing self love and, Loving herself. Holy crap, there's a lot of... This is the Kawaii Tarot. Oh my gosh. Four of Cups. Mm-hmm. 
That's like not seeing what's in front of us, not realizing what's in front of us. Okay. What's that? That's card number four. Card number six, the lovers. Yeah, I felt like love was somehow involved. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Exchanging gifts. Something tangible. Mmm. Six of Wands. That is victory. Wow. Ooh, nice. And Nine of Cups. Holy crap. These alone are so powerful and bright and happy and... Um, I feel like all with exchanging gifts, like there's a, um, there's a gift of love. There's a gift of appreciation. There's a gift of self love, self appreciation. There's a gift of being grateful for what we have. Um, Okay, what else? What does the poker have to say? Ten of Cups. <laughs> the Ten of Hearts is the Ten of Cups. Wow, that's amazing. Um, Six of Swords, walking away, moving away. Okay. I feel like that goes over there. Can you even see it? Maybe. Okay. I want to put it right there. Okay. Um, Jack of Spades is like the Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in with the truth, the gift of the exchanging gifts, telling their truth. Six of Wands. That's victory. Did I say Six of Swords was moving away? Moving towards something. Six of Wands is victory. Wow. Wait, Six of Wands was here. We got two of the same. Holy crap. What is this? Nine of Pentacles. Wow. And then we have the Nine of Cups, right? Holy shit. We've got nine sixes are duplicated. Whoa. Yeah, we had card number 27 with two sevens and nine. Shit, I don't remember these. I don't want to mess it up. Mm, I can't help myself. Oh, yeah. F 24, which we were talking about at the beginning. One, two, four, four, two, one. What was this? Pamela. I'm yelling at myself. Seven. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Wow. This is really, 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 like, beautiful. Like, love. Like, the gift of love. The gift of kindness. The gift of the truth. The gift of revealing your feelings. The gift of self-love. Okay. So beautiful. There's a victory. Maybe you've known the truth all along and the truth is being revealed and it's like a gift to your soul. There's like the gift of realizing that you knew all along the truth. Now, whether or not you're going to walk away, that's up to you, right? It's in your hands. You might sleep on it. You might take a nap. You might go to the sea. You might go on a vacation and contemplate what your next step is, whether or not you're going to walk away. Are you going to do the Six of Swords and move on to greener pastures? Okay. Now, these are healing cards. What do we need to heal? Crown Chakra, Connect to the Divine, Meditation, Trust, and Faith. Definitely here taking a nap, taking a nap from the world to connect to yourself 
your connection to God, divine universe, your, your own inner higher self to get the answers that you need. Mm hmm. You need that time to reflect. Let's see. Oh, wow. Heart chakra connect to physical and spiritual self love, compassion, and joy. What was I talking about? Self love. I felt like there was kindness and compassion in the pink. Um, connecting to the physical and the spiritual to the sea. I see as physical, like getting grounded at the beach, the spiritual, taking a nap, meditating through crown chakra. Yeah. There's definitely some love involved. Self love too. Hmm. Equinox. Mm hmm. We just had the spring equinox. Autumn equinox. Hmm. That might have been a significant time period. So spring or fall might be significant. What else? Water. Yeah. To the sea right here. Um, yeah, you definitely need to get yourself grounded. Um, some respite is to be had some purification, cleansing, um, connection to nature, water. I mean, yes, you could take a bath, but who doesn't want to go to the beach or the lake this summer, right? Yeah. I feel like that's significant. Chariot. Go with the flow, move forward. I feel like that's part of the Six of Swords um, energy too. Taking the next step, figuring out what the next step is and moving forward. If it involves walking away, then you walk away. And from that you soar. You become who you're always meant to be. You realize your Nine of Cups, your Nine of Pentacles. You could be single and independent and loving yourself every day of the week. You just have to uh, spend time contemplating, healing, meditating, connecting to your inner self to understand what your, I want to say goals, mission, what your ultimate happiness is, right? It's all a part of the journey of life. Look at cleanse. Going back to water, okay, so um, the healing nature of water, the cleansing, the purification, there's something to do with water. Cancer's a water sign, hello, and we're doing a cancer reading. Um, take a spiritual bath, I do at least once a week, okay, um, but there's something about immersing your entire body. Um to get that clarif you know, purification, cleansing. I was going to say clarification. Um, perhaps being at the beach offers the clarification or maybe there's hydrotherapy that you're involved. There's something to do with water. Maybe it's a detoxing your entire body, drinking more water, obviously. Today I've added, um, I'm going to show you, I've added lemon in my water and I feel like that's a good, I don't know if you could see it, a good detox attempt on my part to start cleansing and um, treating my body a little bit better, you know, making little gestures. Hopefully that will have a good impact. Okay. Wow. Cancer. I want to go with you to the beach. I'm probably going to go to the beach because I can't live without it, especially after going through all this stuff. Healing at the beach is going to be my number one. I'm telling you now. Um, maybe I'll see you there, but I will see you in the next reading, Cancer. I love you so much.